Hello everyone, this is Rick with FHF Gear. Gonna talk to you today about our bino harness, what it ships with, the features of the bino harness, and then sizing and why it's so important to have the proper size bino harness to get the most out of your FHF gear. So we have three different sizes, which is small, medium, and large, and all of them ship with the nylon webbing shoulder straps, the bino hangers, which securely attach your binoculars to your shoulder straps, a Windicator bottle, it is not full, it's empty, but it's a really nice round bottle that slips in and out easier than the store-bought ones. You can simply refill it. And then, of course, the bino pouch. The features are all the same. However, there is one change between the small that is different on the medium and uh, large bino harness. They all have the same bungee tension loop, which when you get your harness, please refer to our bino harness adjustment setup video, and that will show you how that bungee loop works, uh, how to adjust it, and how to properly uh, maintain it over time. They all have the bow tie on the front, which is open uh, on, on top, and they are pockets. They're meant for elk diaphragm calls, turkey diaphragm calls, or if you have a muzzle brake on your rifle, you can keep ear protection uh, right there within a hand's reach. Moving on, they all have on the back side of the harness, they have a slip pocket here, which is meant for your hunting license, your tags, possibly a cell phone, depending on its size. Anything that has a nice slim profile, because that's going to be up against your chest. On the sides, they have Windicator bottle pockets. And then there also are options for you to attach pouches on the side or convert the side of the harness to a Molly Pals webbing uh, system. Please see our modularity video to see uh, how that works. On the bottom of the harness, you have the Molly panel, so you can attach our expandable bear spray holster, um, our general purpose pouch, and then also any other pouch that has that Molly Pals webbing attachment system. We have one inch webbing loops on the bottom so you can hang our Rasco pistol holster off the bottom or our Molly muff. So the only difference between the harness now is the medium and the large have a vertical zipper pocket here and a vertical sleeve pocket while the small harness has a single horizontal zipper compartment. We had to change that up for storage because of the height. Now let's move on to harness sizing and why it's so important to have the proper size harness to get the most out of your FHF gear. So the original design is all based off of height. So you want to take your binoculars, take a measuring tape, measure from the end of the objective lens to the end of the eye cup. Remember to set your eye cups how you run them in the field, if you run them in, out, or at one of those mid settings. Take that measurement and go refer to our sizing chart or give us a call. The original design with that height, you want to get a nice tight seal on the top eye cups. You want the harness to almost have a flat boxy look. So it seals off that glass. You want this uh, top lid to go around mid box level. What that does is it gives you a lot of room with the bungee so you can hook it more securely faster and it keeps proper tension with those eye cups hitting the top lid. It keeps tension on it so you're not gonna have to tie a real small bungee loop here and it's not going to have to come open on you all the time, which is possible if you have the improperly sized harness. Showing that uh, problem is if we put these small binos in a medium here, they're going to sit too shallow, and then you're going to have a big gap up here. You're not going to have that tight seal on the eye cups, and you're going to have to tie a really small bungee loop here, which, as I said, could possibly open up when you don't want it in the field. So it's really important to have that proper fit. The height is the most important measurement, as I said. However, the um, width or girth of the bino has a good bit to deal with it as well. If you have standard binoculars, meaning no rangefinder uh, component in them, you're fine with just the height measurement. Sometimes there's a difference between 42 and 50 objectives. Some of those big objectives get a little tight in the bottom of the harness, so take that into uh, account. However, if you have a rangefinding bino, most of them are on our sizing chart, but if not, call us. We'll walk you through sizing then, and then also some binos are in between uh, a smaller medium or medium and large. That comes into effect, so call us if you would like to maybe run a different size. And then also, if you have two sets of binos and you only want one harness, we recommend buying the harness for the larger set of binos, and then refer to our gear foam hack video, and it will show you how you can run two sets of binos out of one size harness. So if you have any other questions on sizing, please email in, give us a phone call, and we'll walk you through it. Thanks for watching.